you said something in your plan. The government needs to build an AI boom for all, not another tech bubble for the few. Um, I think also, you know, the AI revolution is coming uh, after two, two events. Um, after, you know, trade has ensured that American workers are facing a sort of global arbitrage on labor and wages, you know, in the 80s and 90s. And then at this, on top of that, a tech boom, which has, you know, brought a lot of jobs, but has not been, the benefits of which have not been evenly applied. A lot more money and value and wealth moving even more to the coasts, a lot less and, you know, a lot, a lot to single individuals. Yes, and a lot to single individuals. So that principle seems really vital to sustain even support for AI. Um, talk a little bit about why, you know, why you think that's important and how it emanates through your plan. Well, let me let me start by saying when well, we had something similar, not the tech boom, but electricity, mm -hmm. like pre-electricity, pre-industrial re revolution, mm -hmm. right? If you go back to like the 18th century, 1700s, GDP growth uh, over a century would be about 8% over 100 years. If you go pre after that, happened very quickly. In 100 years, it was like 350%. We could see the same kind of acceleration. Some people say we could go, I don't believe this, and I've talked to economists that say this is a bunch of crap, but there are other economists that say we could see GDP growth of like 20% a year. I do not, I, I think that is that not possible. It's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. And it, that presents tremendous challenges. Uh, but also if you think about like how wealthy some individuals have become because of the tech boom, if you, uh, if you take the wealthiest person in the country during the Reagan administration and you fast forward them to today, obviously with the inflation built into that valuation of their net worth, they'd be worth, the richest person in the country would be worth $15 billion. I mean, how many people do we have worth more than $100 billion? Or there are people, you know, worth more than 250 billion and more than 400 billion. That someone's getting a payout for a trillion dollars. Trillion dollars. If, for a trillion dollars. But only if, if he deploys a million robots. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> now, I do, I do like the idea of like, you know, this kind of technology. I'm really into like innovation. And I think this could be a big winner for all of us in like material science and fundamental chemistry and medicine. And we can cure diseases, but we can also, also really screw this up, like in a big way. I mean, we've, we've done that before. We're actually pretty good at that. Social media is a perfect example. Yeah, great example. The Australians announced today that they're going to ban social media, ban it for the younger teenagers. Yeah. I, I don't know, know at what age. So we've got to come up with a, I wanted to come up with a plan that, that would address you know, some issues, the workers to make this focused on the workforce and middle class people so they benefit and not just people in, not just workers in California and New York, but all across the country. It's going to be a challenge to do that. But then we have to get to the infrastructure, mm -hmm. you know, issues as well, because, and I could tell you a couple stories here. We, we really have to figure this out. And I do worry that if we don't, we're going to have like a, a movement against data centers. Mm -hmm. And we need these data centers if AI is going to be successful. And we need AI to be successful not only for the promises that we could get out of it and the technology we could get out of, out of it. We also need it to be successful because of the amount of money that's already been, in, been invested in it. And if there's a big bubble and that bubble bursts in a really bad way, it's going to be harmful to the broader economy. It might make like the downturn in 2008 look like a party.